Hey, this is Jeff Cunningham from the Triple Point Podcast again, and I'll be going through some of the companies that we're keeping track of. All of the information I've gathered here is open source across the web. And basically, I'm, I'm keeping track of what weather and climate companies do, what it appears they do from a revenue source, at least from their, their websites, uh, and then also looking at different job opportunities that are available. So the first company I have here up on the website is the AccuWeather website. And I think one of the things that, you know, when people think about weather and climate companies, they're like, okay, what, what does this weather and climate company do to make a revenue? The revenue sources that I could see online are they have advertising. Clearly, when you go to their website, it has quite a bit of ads on it. Um, so if you, you know, scroll up and down the page. Their website has, you know, I mean, everybody's used to advertisements and, and what that does to a website. Um, and then they also sell API access. So if you look under products and services, uh, let's go down here to the bottom, products and services for businesses. So let's go data suite. So some of the things they have to offer are data marketplaces so convenient access to the most comprehensive and accurate weather data available via the world's most popular data marketplaces i find it interesting and nearly every weather company claims the most accurate weather data how can everybody be the most accurate i guess they could all use the same data um you have uh api okay so accuweather's api developer portal remains number one for a good reason Reliability and superior accuracy, which they trademark, uh, of our data, make it easy to use. They have GIS and flat file stuff. So basically, the two things that I've seen so far that I know publicly from this company, because they said it, uh, that they sell or that they use to generate revenue are advertisements. Because if you're putting advertisements on your page and somebody clicks on it and you get paid per click or conversion, but they also have APIs. And so they either generate or repackage and aggregate data and make it available through common industry standards. And so actually as a career, this is why um, those in the weather and climate education space from a bachelor's or master's uh, program perspective, all of the businesses and other organizations that purchase data from companies like AccuWeather, they will go through APIs. They will pull the data in um, using RESTful APIs, which is a standard framework for transferring data. And they probably do this using tokens and things like that. And that way they can keep track of who is downloading the data, who's logging in, who's authenticating uh, so that they can actually track how to, how to charge users for the data. And then in my previous video, we briefly took a look at the careers that are available. And if you recall, very large percentage of these jobs that are available are data or technical related. And so, you know, you have a data developer intern. Let's take a look at that. That's possibly something that would be geared towards somebody in a junior position. Yep. Qualifications, basic understanding of geographic data and how to process within a database and, and or GIS system, zero to two years experience using technology to solve spatial data problems, must be a team player. So this is an intern position. And so they're looking for somebody that can grow more than likely. Let's go back to um, jobs listing. Storm warning meteorologist. So now this is actually a weather and climate uh, focused position. Bachelor's degree in meteorology or atmospheric sciences. Ability to process meteorological data and make swift and accurate warning decisions. So this looks like your standard forecast position. So really, as you can see here, there are a number of positions that are very technical related. Let's take a look at another weather company. Now, I think this next one that I have pulled up does not have any job offerings. 
but let's take a look at what they do. This is a company called Acme Atronomatic, industry leading software development for the aviation, weather, and consumer sectors. So, merging platforms, mobile apps, aviation expertise, weather information. It looks like they have uh, the app that's called My Radar. Software application development company. So their technology is radar data collection. Continuously received so they get large amounts of data. Do a lot of data stitching. They have custom servers. So I bet if they did offer jobs, they would be offering them engineering types of jobs. So it looks like there's no positions right now listed. But there will be a lot of software-based jobs with these guys. Adaptive systems. I don't know that they have any jobs listed either. But when I look at adaptive systems and what are they selling, what's their revenue source? According to their public website, it looks like it's more of a weather data processing framework. So they sell the AWIAS. Let's take a look at that services. So this was one of the key things. So it says autonomous weather intelligence and assessment system. UAVs and other unmanned aerial systems are not only here to stay, but they are the next big thing in aviation. Patent pending technology is helping shape the next generation of UAVs that can intelligently assist support crew members with responding to obstacles, weather, adverse weather conditions, and other unknown weather interferences. You know, most people would not label this company as a weather and climate company. But one of the things I've learned over the years is there's really two phases of integrating weather and climate information into decision-making. The first phase is in engineering a solution. If you can engineer the weather or the climate out of the solution, then you can avoid having to make a weather and climate risk mitigation decision later. Um, now it's not possible to actually mitigate out all of the weather and climate effects on a solution such as an autonomous vehicle, but you can, uh, try to mitigate it as much as economically possible. And when you can't mitigate or engineer out the weather and climate anymore, now you have to make risk decisions off of predictive weather and climate information or current conditions. And so different companies focus on these different uh, places. So this one, this company, Adaptive System LLC, looks like they're in the business of partially uh, automating out or engineering out uh, the weather and climate or environmental impacts on systems at an early stage or early phase of decision-making. Whereas AccuWeather... They sell advertisements and then they sell data and then they're, they're providing a predictive uh, weather and climate mitigation, uh, risk mitigation uh, solution, basically. Thanks for joining me on this series. I have a database of over 200 companies in the weather and climate space, and we'll continue to explore what their revenue sources are and also some of their job opportunities if they're available.